Gustavo Petro celebrated election results on Sunday and promised to tackle social and economic inequality. The leftist senator got 40% of votes in Colombia's presidential election, which secured a spot in June's runoff between the top two contenders. Companies cannot continue to grow while large parts of society become poorer. Profits can't continue to go up if most people are going hungry. We cannot delay the changes this country needs. That would be dangerous. It's the first time a leftist candidate has secured so many votes in the first round of a Colombian presidential election. The former rebel group member also wants to change how Colombia fights drug traffickers. He wants to lessen the focus on the eradication of illegal crops and invest more in rural areas to draw young people and farmers away from drug cartels. Petro is interested in helping rural communities to decide their own fate. They also want to broaden access to higher education and improve health care. He wants true democracy. Petro's rival in June will be Rodolfo Hernández, a real estate tycoon and political outsider. Hernández ran on an anti-corruption platform, and his campaign was mostly staged on social media. The 77-year-old has provided few details about his economic plans though he's promised to cut down wasteful government spending. Hernandez is not a politician. He's a businessman. He's generated lots of jobs for people in his life. He's generated tax income, and he's shown that he's good at administrating funds. The election has been characterized by voters' desire for change. The candidate backed by traditional parties, Federico Gutierrez, only managed 22 percent of the vote coming in third behind Hernández. This election comes as Colombia struggles to recover from the pandemic. Inflation is the highest in two decades, and in a recent poll, six out of ten Colombians said they were struggling to get by on their monthly income. With only three weeks until the second round of voting, Petro and Hernández will be trying to make alliances with smaller parties. That might mean a shift towards the center for Petro while Hernández will have to provide more clarity on his economic policies. Manuel Rueda, TRT World, Bogotá.